Day 2 of our safari adventure. We're heading out on another game drive to see what we can find. After being lots of game, we decided to look for the resident leopard, Kaboso. We just did one circuit of her territory and we found her, along with her energetic cub. What a spectacular sighting! It was my first time ever seeing a leopard cub in the wild. They are so lively and cute. Did you know that a leopard can run up to 58 kilometers per hour? The cub was super spirited and energetic. Look at the acrobatics he is doing. Caboso had been trying to move her cub to a different den and location, but there was a river blocking them. The mother had to make the first move as she knew the cub wouldn't, so she goes for the jump. After some time, finally, the anxious cub follows. A three-meter jump for a tiny cub. He almost didn't make it. On the other side of the river, our guide, Bernard, knew exactly where Caboso was going. He said that she might cross the road. So we positioned our car. And guess what? Caboso with her cub crossed right in front of us. Not one, but two times. After spending a lot of quality time with the leopards, we decided to go and see what other animals we could find. And just down the road was a lioness with two cubs hiding under the shade of a bush. We just spotted 20 elephants and they're all taking turns having mud baths. Elephants take mud baths because the cooling effect of the water regulates their body temperature. They will often submerge themselves in water before their mud or sand bath. Mud acts as a protection against sunburn and it also provides relief from biting insects. Guys, we have found six lion cubs all playing in the last light. This is amazing. Lion cubs are born with tawny black spots all around their bodies, which eventually disappear as they grow older. These lion cubs are so mischievous and joyous. Look at them trying to climb a bush. The cubs are play fighting with each other. This trains them to hunt prey. Lion cubs start to catch on hunting strategies from only six weeks old. After spending an hour or so with the lions, we headed back to Alapa for dinner. And we were treated to some cultural Maasai singing and jumping the night away. Look at that. <laughs>
What a lovely way to end day two. Coming up on my upcoming Masai Mara videos, I will be viewing a serval cat hunt, the wildebeest migration, Tano Bora and so much more. Stay tuned.